Welcome back to another video, my pupils. Today, the professor will be teaching you the knuckleball technique. The knuckleball technique gives the best shot stoppers nightmares. And due to the movement of the ball, can be used from all ranges in and around the goal. The aim of this video is not going to make you blast a free kick from 40 yards out, but to make you know how to get movement on your shot and the proper technique, so stay tuned. You don't have to run like a steam engine train to do the knuckleball. This is all about your technique. So if you prefer a slower approach, it's fine, but try to do a running style that suits you. Long story short, the part of the foot that makes the ball move is the bunion, which is the top of the inside of the foot. Locking your ankle and hitting the ball with power with the bunion are the primary factors that make the ball move. Nextly, your knee must go in an upwards motion and slightly bent. This helps to get the ball up and down and also aids in technique. As soon as you make contact, stop driving your leg. You'll feel your shin continue through the ball. But everything above the knee should be mostly quiet. Some players find this easiest if they hop after the strike. As you make contact, pop off your plant foot. Land on your shooting foot first, placing it right where the ball used to be. Keeping your torso up, straight, and balanced is so important. It keeps your momentum straight, allowing you to pull off of the shot without adding spin. The knuckleball is when the ball does not spin. As it flies through the air, spin is what gives the ball stability as it moves. And without it your shot will snake through the air, changing direction suddenly and making it nearly impossible for a keeper to predict. A good knuckleball is all in the follow-through. And with enough practice, you'll be hitting them like Gareth Bale or Cristiano Ronaldo in no time. 